let's explain the bonding of uh, phosphine that is one phosphorus which is linked with three hydrogen atoms in terms of hybridization if we see the central atom is phosphorus you see atomic number is 15 so if we write its configuration we will find that it is having five valence electrons right so out of these five valence electrons you can see the combining atom is hydrogen which is monovalent so therefore phosphorus uses three of its valence electrons to form three sigma bonds with the hydrogen and uh, obviously out of five the two will be left that means it will be one lone pair is left on phosphorus so again moving on the same basis we'll see total number of bonds around phosphorus always remember the total number of bond is actually mean the total number of sigma plus pi bonds right so as there is no pi bond here so the total bonds uh, here are three bonds so out of these so three bonds we need this means that we need a three half filled orbital only then three covalent bonds can be formed so let's talk about how many hybridized orbital we need for that we have to find how many sigma bonds that is one two and three sigma lone pair is one so the total is four so this means the hybridized orbital which we require around phosphorus is four so let's see the ground state electronic configuration and see the situation here so i have already told you that uh, uh, hybridization can also take place in the ground state the only thing is these two conditions should be satisfied fine the first condition being very important that is the number of half filled orbital which we require around the central atom to form the required number of bonds so if we see it's three in this case so if you carefully see the uh, electronic configuration of phosphorus you will see there are three half filled orbitals already there in its ground state so there is no need of excitation in this case because three half filled orbital we are already having in the ground state right so therefore here we have to hybridize them in the ground state itself but let's see the second condition we need three sigma plus one lone pair that is total four that means four half filled orbitals which we require in this case so that means out of this four one has to be s and other three are p bonding cannot take place at this stage because if we make use of three p orbitals suppose in the valence shell to form three bonds with hydrogen then we could not explain the pyramidal shape of phosphine because all the three p, p orbitals in the atomic orbital state they are perpendicular to each other so we cannot explain the pyramidal shape right so for that we have to mix these four atomic orbitals uh, one s and three p mix to give you hybridization that is sp3 which means the four atomic orbitals are mixing together redistributing their energy and having uh, four orbitals of the same shape we will see one is fully filled and other three are half filled now they are no more s or p rather they will be all sp3 sp3 and sp3 the first one will be used to carry the lone pair and these three to form the sigma bond right so let's talk about the shape in terms of hybridization we know that if the hybridization is sp3 that means the four hybridized orbital getting collected around the central atom so obviously to minimize the repulsion between them the shape which will be taken up will be tetrahedral right so in sp3 we'll see in this case the skeletal is tetrahedral that is uh, all these sp3 hybridized orbitals right one will carry the lone pair and other three will be half filled right so these half filled orbitals will be used to form sigma bond with the overlapping of 1s orbital of uh, hydrogen this explains bonding with hydrogen right and uh, one will carry the lone pair so in terms of uh, normal simple representation we can have the shape like this that is the skeletal that means the lone pair and the bond pair they are in a tetrahedral fashion around phosphorus but while deciding the shape we'll just see this part and you see this part is a pyramidal part right so just forget about the lone pair to decide the actual shape 
so you see it's a pyramid which is having a triangular base so it is a triangular pyramidal structure triangular pyramidal shape right so this is how we can explain the bonding in case of phosphine using the concept of hybridization